How's it going? What's your name? Joshua. Joshua? Uh, where, where are you from originally? I was born in Riverside, California. I lived there until I was about probably four or five, and then I moved to Tacoma and Puyallup, Washington. And then I've been here. I lived there for about eight years. Moved here when I was about 11, Portland. Oh, really? Yeah, so I've been here a long time. Yeah. Did you grow up with both parents? I did. I was did fortunate it? enough, yeah. So you said you went to California when you were five? I was born in California and oh. yeah and then we left around when I was four or five and then my dad actually he we moved to Washington we moved to Tacoma and then Puyallup but he ended up staying in California for quite a while uh, because the job in Washington didn't work out so he had to stay in California so he worked out in California so I he yeah he was out there for a while so mm -hmm. yeah uh, how long did you stay in the Tacoma area? Um, combined Tacoma and Puyallup, about eight years. You like it? It was all right. Yeah, I used to live there, man. That's a pretty. Oh yeah. Pretty rough area. Yeah, yeah some areas. Yeah, where, yeah. Like where Hilltop was a pretty bad area. Yeah. yeah. They said they cleaned it up, but I haven't been back. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been back, and it, yeah, it's pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, they cleaned it up. Yeah. Pretty clean, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so you said you how long you been in Portland since you're 11? Yeah, give or take. Yeah. That's cool, man. What, what did you graduate high school? Um, I had a problem with high school, so I ended up um, just dropping out and getting my GED. So like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I was a troubled kid, but I feel like trouble would find me sometimes. And um, like, and since I tried to do half days, which was a terrible idea because when I went to school, all my friends were on lunch and they're like, hey, let's take off and do this. And it was just, so I ended up just getting my GED. So I just went to PCC and took the class, uh, took the test and graduated my for my GED or whatnot. Oh, cool. What did you do after that? Um, I ended up, I was in the culinary um, industry for a long time. Went all the way up to a sous chef, so. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you do after that? Um, after no, you're fine. After that, I did. Um, <clears throat> I worked on uh, parts for Intel. I would uh, they have these really expensive parts, like sixty thousand dollar parts that they would throw away once they were done. But the company I worked for would um, actually take those parts, refurbish them, and sell it to them for half the price. So. Yeah. That's cool, man. So you said you're homeless? Yeah. How did you become homeless? I was in the... Uh, we... So we were... During COVID, um, I got really sick. And, um, like, long story short, I ended up in the hospital for uh, quite some time. Uh, we were behind on our rent, but we were talking to the rental department and they seemed really willing to work with us because there were there were options like the um with like they're they're helping out with rent during that time you know and once i went to the hospital they started putting these like um eviction letters on our door but no one was there to get it because we were in the hospital and i was in there for like three weeks or so or longer i don't i think that's i was in there for three weeks that time but um, pretty much while I was in the hospital, they changed locks on us and everything we owned that I ever owned in my whole life was thrown away. And I was homeless instantly when I got out the hospital. So, yeah. Yeah, I try not to think about it, but because you don't want to start thinking about all the things that, you know, were close to you. I just been blocking it out, you know what I mean? So, it's been tough. So and then my, my health has been so bad that I just haven't like, been able to hold a job down. So, are you, are you in contact with your family, man? Or um, most of them live in California. Oh, they do. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have any like brothers or sisters that you could. You know, that... They're all. They're hurting too. Oh, they're. Yeah, yeah. So they live. They live in other states. So my brother lives in. California, my sister's in California. My younger sister, she's in Washington. And I think my other brother's either in Nevada or California, I can't remember. So, yeah. So you got any uh, plans or any goals for the future? 
Uh, yeah, I do. I, I just, I'm trying to um, get healthy. Um, I'm trying to find a place for, like my condition, it's chronic, so there's no cure for it unless you have surgery. And I'm trying to find a, a way to be able to have a place to, like, kind of rehabilitate after I have the surgery um, and then hopefully get back into working and not be homeless anymore. You know, it's been really tough. You know. well, what kind of surgery is that, man? Um, they cut out my stomach lining and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. pretty big surgery. That's big time. But yeah, but I mean, then I wouldn't have any more issues. So I go through a lot of a lot. So it would be worth it for me, you know, yeah. to not have to go through that. Horrible, man. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you have any, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody, man? Um, advice. This stuff I usually give myself. Just keep your head up, and when you're going through a tough time, just <clears throat> remember, like this too shall pass. You know, and whatever's bothering you today, most likely a year from now, you won't even remember. You know, so just, um, you know, keep your head up and do your best, you know. Oh, cool. Thanks, bro. Yeah.